This is gonna hurt. <laughs> All right, so it, it always starts with a girl. There's always a girl because I, there's always a girl because I'm a schmuck. And so I'd been making eyes at the girl. I'd been talking to the girl. I'd been buttering up the girl, you know, warming up. Hey, I'm a nice guy. How you doing? Yeah. So I give her a ride back home to her place. Now, I preface all of this with a few other things. It was a birthday party, and we were young, debaucherous people who really enjoyed taking an illicit hallucinogenic substance that doesn't grow out of the earth. What? Acid, kids. I like to eat acid. It's a lot of damn fun, okay? So... We'd gotten a whole bunch of acid. We'd eaten a whole bunch of acid. It was a good party of 20 of us or so, so we consumed a bit, waited an hour. Nothing happened. Waited two hours. Nothing happened. Ate some more acid. Waited three hours, and nothing fucking happened. It happens. You get bunk acid. So, all right, well, the party's breaking up. All right, everybody's going home. And the cute girl goes, hey, Jay, could you give me a ride home? Say, hey! So we get in the car, we start driving out to Mesquite. And we arrive in Mesquite, and I walk up to the door and I go, hey, how you doing? And she goes, I'm going to bed, good night, schmuck. So I get back in my car and I begin driving somewhere. And I was frustrated, you know, I'm quasi blue balled, a little annoyed about the acid not working. And I was starting to get frustrated and I was muttering to myself because I don't know about you guys, but when I get mad, I have a tendency to talk to myself because somebody needs to know how fucking pissed off I am right now. <laughs> and that's when the little yellow Muppet that was sitting next to me looked at me and said, uh, really, you don't think the acid's any good? <laughs> now, I don't know how many of you have actually done acid, but that level of a hallucinogenic experience does not happen. You know, the walls melt a little bit. Oh, I feel funny. Why are we all stuck in circles? Whatever. All right? You do not have the little yellow Muppet sitting next to you going, really, schmuck, I think you overdid it this time. And so I begin to argue with the Muppet as I'm driving 70 miles an hour down 635. No, the acid isn't any goddamn good. If it was any good, I'd at least have some head trip. I would be seeing some shit waving on the freeway. You know, the lines would have trouble staying in the same place. I'd think about circles, something here, okay? <laughs> uh, kid, I don't know how to break this to you, but are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure! All right, all right, all right. That's when the little yellow Muppet, you know, he leaned his head into the back seat. And he had a very friendly sort of Elmo voice to start out with, you know, very unassuming, didn't, didn't put you off base. That's when the voice of Satan, oh, actually, I won't, yeah, you know, Satan's the right word. Do you remember Legend? Do you remember Tim Curry's voice in that fucking movie? That voice came out of this little yellow Muppet. He went, hey, guys, you don't think the ass is any good. That's when the whole backup chorus of Muppet Monsters pop out of the back seat, start fucking with my head. Oh God! Break. That's my favorite part of hallucinogens. You'll be going out of your mind, and then all of a sudden, oh fuck! I gotta get back to the party. <laughs> so somehow, uh, how I made it back to the party, and I crawl out of my car, because I, 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 well, anyway, crawl out of the car, kind of snake my way up to the front door and rest my head against it and kind of bang it with the front of my head. That's when I hear somebody scream, ah! That's how I knew they kind of figured out it was working as good as I figured out it was working. So the lesson here, kids, because I always feel the need after I talk about horrible, debaucherous, druggy experiences is to give you at least something that resembles a lesson. The lesson is, is don't fucking drive. 